Oh, who's this? Marcus? It's kind of been going Connor, Cara, Marcus, Connor, Cara, Marcus, like in that. Oh, what? I'm actually glad there wasn't two legs just in a row. That would have been like, okay, way too coincidental. Hey, two compatible legs just sitting in a row, whatever. What if you found two left feet? Two left, left feet. And you just had two left feet the rest of his life. It's also very coincidental that he found a left foot and a right foot, not too left foot. Thank you. 
I did that so mercilessly. a lot easier for me to do things like that when you can like see their real body parts very convenient for me. I kind of liked that. That was really cool though. Not gonna lie. terrifying. Ah! 
<laughs> How did I know? How did I know he was gonna say that? I was just kind of joking. I am Marcus. Mahaha. I was. Joking. Can you? I'm seriously curious as if you can just like refuse to kill only 24%. Well, that was a pretty short one. Are we back to Connor? I like Connor. <gasps> Hi, Connor! You're so cute. Oh, where am I? Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. Thank you, I'm very proud of that. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. It was very, uh... Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It was very... May teach us something about what happened. <laughs> Made my heart bump the a little bit. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? <laughs> uh... It showed all the signs of deviancy. Cognitive instability, unpredictable behavior, and the emulation of human emotions. It was even afraid to die. The model was clearly defective. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What like do you him. make of him? I like him. I think he's irritable and socially challenged. <laughs> but I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? What do you mean? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have enough data to decide that yet. I'll learn more about him and try to adapt my behavior accordingly. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. I'm still not sure if this is in his head. Hurry, Connor. Or... There's little time. I'm guessing it's in his head. Or, I don't know. Like his programming or whatever. You wanna call it? <laughs> Pink is warm towards me. Hello. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. That is so weird. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Honestly, the weirdest part. Excuse me, Mom. Excuse me. Let me in. Thank you. Ooh, things and places and wow. Okay. Hello? I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. It's that desk right there. Thank you, thank you. What else we got? We got a bunch of things here.
Poe Brown. Poe Brown? Poe Miller. Oh, I guess it's just looking at, oh, what? That's, I don't like that. I don't like that. Unless they're all like Connor, I don't like that. I don't like the idea of a robot being a cop because a robot, I, a normal robot would not have compassion, which I think cops need to have. Hey. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Wait for the right. He's so cute. <laughs> Sitting there waiting for him. Hi, honey. You okay? Why'd you just sit down and you're just gonna stand up again? Alright. What do we got? Ask him about himself, not probe his desk for information. But call Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> Lieutenant Anderson, this is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's <laughs> almost noon, and I'm waiting for you at the office. Beep. <laughs> Beep. I love. I love it. Who doesn't like a good donut? Oh, wait, wait, wait. 452. Ugh. Oh, I should go get him some new coffee. Be like, hey, you like coffee? I like coffee, let's be bros. Romance, how is my check? Use your brain, not your Android. Android's free space. I don't like this. It's like I'm snooping. I don't like snooping. I don't like the snoop. More than 50 arrests throughout the country. Detroit's finest has dealt a massive blow. Blah, 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 blah. With... Uh, <sighs> Growing red ice epidemic with a number of high-profile dealers and suppliers now behind bars and narcotics seized. It is such an instrumental... Becoming the youngest lieutenant on the Detroit Police Force, Lieutenant Hank Anderson was among the most decorated detectives in DBT recent history, securing a number of high profile arrests and serving as an integral member of law force. Captain Fowler said the promotion was long overdue, describing Anderson as among the most talented. Nearly a ton of red ice discovered in a hold of boat after a long investigation. Very nice. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hank! It's like a puppy. In my office. Mm, don't 
good I come on I guess this one I've got 10 new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. Or I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. <laughs> Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick! Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off! You are a police lieutenant! You are supposed to do what I say, and shut your goddamn mouth! You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay, huh? okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that, so I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, cause it already looks like a fucking novel! This conversation is over! I feel like I didn't want to come in here. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Why does he hate androids? I mean, everyone seems to hate Ugh. androids, to be perfectly honest. But, which is ironic, considering they use them so much. Um, Anderson. I wonder whether Lieutenant Anderson is really the best person for this investigation. Hey, I don't need a machine to tell me how to handle my men, okay? So get the fuck out of my office. Okay. Have a nice day, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant. Oh. 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 That was like a conversation they did not want to be part of at all. Understanding. I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. Positive. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Um, okay. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. He's trying so hard, he's so cute. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. <laughs> what were the locked ones? What's the locked thing? Hold on, let me take a look around first real quick. Oh, hold on, hold on. I don't really care about these. Oh, 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 oh no, oh no. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Famous Detroit painter dies. Carl Manfred, one of Detroit's brightest lights, reports a famous artist in the corner described a fatal cardiac induced by stressful domestic. Asked as the media to reflect his oh. Public fears followed in their till a dark period marked by alcohol and drugs. The artist had apparently returned to work in recent months. The governor of Detroit expressed her condolences to the family on the behalf of the city, describing Manfred as one of the Detroit's brightest lights. A collection of Manfred paintings will be auctioned by his estate. Oh, Carl. I don't care about that. Oh. No. Oh, 
Oh, no. Fuck, look at that. Our friend, the plastic detective, is back in town. Congratulations on last night. Very impressive. Thanks. I just want to get Hank a copy. He could use a copy. Let's ignore that douchebag. Never seen an android like you before. Muller. Ignore. The asshole, I'm talking to you. <laughs> hey, bring me a coffee, dipshit. Fuck no. Get a move on! No. Uh, ignore. I gave you an order. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I only take orders from Lieutenant Anderson. Oh, oh. <laughs> Of a bitch. When a human gives you an order, you obey. Got it? Stay out of my way. Next time, you won't get off so easy. You really want to destroy Cyberlife's <laughs> pride and whatever you want to call it? <laughs> he just fixes his die. Several sources report that Cyberlife has. Years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted CyberLife for comment, but no one was available to answer our questions. Just taking a look around. What's in here? Gorgeous face. Mm, brown. Brown. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Mm. Good. <laughs> Somebody's in chat. I would have not listened. Which, to be perfectly fair, I kind of wish that I hadn't have listened. <laughs> because. I am good. I'm really, really, really enjoying this game, so I'm like super into it right now. I am um, recently. Oh, um, Doug! You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. Oh, I don't want to tell him it I was like dogs. Snoopy. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? I want to know your dog's name. Sumo. Aww. 
I call him Sumo. Um, basketball. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Boop, 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 boop. Denton Thanks Carter for the follow, love. Denton Carter shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't ask all of these. Fuck it, we're asking them all. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's <laughs> full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. He's so cute. He's so fucking adorable. Um. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. I kind of don't want to ask about the android thing. I'm scared he won't like me for it. Like, I kind of do because I'm, like, curious, but... A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah. There is one. I knew I shouldn't have asked him. I'm, I'm on like an even playing level. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the oh, office at no, this time? Oh no, that's not what I thought it meant. I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay. If you have any files on deviance, I'd like to take a look at them. The terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. By the way, brah, are you using the phone app or... I'm guessing you might be on the phone. It's a little more weird on the phone than it is on... Like, when you're watching on TV. Well, also on TV as well. I don't know. I never... I don't really usually comment when I'm watching Twitch, so... I'm, I just watch. I never really comment, so... Um... My deck reports... One trick... No trace the aim. Okay, that one just left. Oh, that's a cutie. Wait, is this the... Eight, two, one model, Android working as a waiter. Plaintiff claims that Android launched him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle a man before leaving the scene. Plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her android. That android also trashed the rooms. Plaintiff, the manager of the Eden Club, avoided an explained series of sex robot. I hate that. Unknown. Oh no. Carl. Famous painter Carl Manfred was found dead in his home following an altercation between his android and his son. The latter's witness statement attested android behaving violently. The android is thought to be a prototype. Ooh. Unknown model and serial number and was destroyed at the scene by attending officers. <gasps> Carl! I don't like the sex robot thing. I don't mind all the other stuff, but I don't like the sex robot thing. I don't mind the whole androids being people thing this game is presenting at me. I just don't like the sex robot part. Because, come on, I already have a hard enough time dating in real life. And I'm beautiful. Don't put up a robot who's, like, perfect and does whatever you want. No. Don't like it. Don't like it. Also, it's weird and gross and thinking about it is weird. And, what, and the first thought that comes to my mind is, wouldn't it hurt? Okay, anyways, done with that. Kara! <laughs> the victim's body was found by a friend who came by to say hello. He has a friend. He had a friend. He immediately called the emergency services at 8.42 a.m. If it was a.m., then that's good. They got a really good head start, which is good. He recorded death by gunshot wound. The murder weapon may have belonged to the victim. His android was not found on the scene and is the main suspect. 
Good, okay, well, it seems like they got a pretty good start, which is good, Kara and Alice. All right, looks like that's all of them. Two hundred and forty-three files. Damn. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. Thank you, Beth. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. He is just not into it. But I like you. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them. Oh, that's not it. Hey, don't mm -hmm. talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? Just trying to be nice. You look like a giant cuddle bear, and I just wanna um the chairman. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. No worries, bro. Thank you for stopping by. Listen, That's... asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. I didn't do anything. Things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant, I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. <gasps> it's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Ooh, well, things are gonna get spicy. Things are gonna get spicy. I don't know if I have my 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 trigger figure ready. My 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 trigger. How do you say? Trigger. I did not make him like like me very. He's mad. Oh, he's always mad. Okay, that makes me feel better. <laughs> it makes me feel better about the fact that he's just always mad. Something. Boo. Okay, that makes me feel much better. That. <laughs> that. He just always gets mad because there's only one line there, which means there's only one way for that to go. 